So we're first going to start by covering the basics of the ACT. And so there's four sections. So again, four sections and the test is about three hours, more exactly two hours and 55 minutes. And the ACT is a standardized testing that colleges use to determine admissions decisions. But that being said, it is not the only factor in admissions to colleges. There's a lot that goes into college admissions, but the ACT is one part of it. And then the next test is on February 11th, and the late registration is open until January 20th, I believe. And we recommend that people take the ACT in grades 10 to 11, though some people can start early as in ninth grade. Um, both Akul and myself did start earlier. But the general recommended grades are 10th and 11th grade because that's when you are starting to cover the content that is on the ACT in school. So the English section is the first section and it is 75 questions long and 45 minutes long. There's five passages and each passage has 15 questions each. And the topics that are covered by this section are usage and mechanics, punctuation, grammar, grammar usage, and sentence structure. And then there's also rhetorical skills that include strategy, organization, and style. And then next comes the math test, and there's 60 questions in 60 minutes. So it gets progressively more difficult, meaning question number one is going to be a lot more easier than question number 60. And the math test covers pre-algebra, elementary algebra, intermediate algebra, coordinate geometry, plane geometry, and trigonometry. And these are all in varying um, amounts. So each section, each topic is not covered equally throughout the math test. So that's something to keep in mind when prepping for the exam. And the reading test comes next and it's 40 questions in 35 minutes. There's four types of passages, each about 800 words each. And there's prose, fiction, social science, and humanities. And the order of the passages should be the same from test to test. And there's 10 questions per passage that has occasionally changed from time to time where one test might have 11 questions and another have eight. And then the reading section covers key details and details, craft structure, integration of knowledge and ideas. And finally is the science section. This is 40 questions and 35 minutes long. There's three passages that come with the science section, data representation, research summary, conflicting viewpoints. And there's five to seven questions per passage. And the topics that are covered include analysis, evaluation, reasoning, problem solving in the context of natural science. There used to be seven passages total for the science section, but this has um, decreased. Um, currently, it's either five or six. It depends on whatever exam you're receiving on the day of the test. <laughs> 